Gene Wilder's sensational love life took a tragic turn as he only had eight years with the love of his life Gilda Radner. Today marks six years since Gene Wilder's death in 2016 after a long battle with Alzheimer's disease. The comedic actor was a prominent figure in late 20th century cinema and became one half of an iconic Hollywood couple with Gilda Radner, staying by her side as she suffered one tragic diagnosis after another. The comedic actor was a prominent figure in late 20th century cinema and became one half of an iconic Hollywood couple with Gilda Radner, staying by her side as she suffered one tragic diagnosis after another. Known as the two funniest actors of 20th century Hollywood, fans were delighted when Radner and Wilder announced their relationship. The Saturday Night Live actress admitted her heart fluttered when she first met Wilder on the set of Hanky Panky in 1981. In her 1989 memoir It's Always Something, Radner tenderly recalled, It felt like my life went from black and white to technicolor. At the time, Radner was still married to her first husband G.E. Smith but Wilder had been mostly single since divorcing his second wife Mary Schutz in 1974. The Willy Wonka actor reportedly avoided Radner's earliest advances out of respect for her husband, and she began to confide in him about her unhappy marriage. Wilder became a counselor for Radner as he was twice divorced and had plenty of advice to depart on the actress who was 13 years his junior. During the filming of Hanky Panky the pair remained friends, but when Radner officially divorced her husband in 1982 they instantly reconnected and became inseparable. The New York Times noted later that year, all of Mr. Wilder's future plans appear to include Miss Radner. In 1984 they got married in the French Riviera and fans could not picture a more idyllic celebrity couple. A friend described the couple as constant honeymooners five years after their wedding but no one knew the troubles that awaited. Radner and Wilder attempted to have children in the late 80s, in between their thriving careers, but it became a futile endeavor.